Hey guys, it's Alex C with TFP TV, and for today's field trip, we're going to be taking a look at a Smith & Wesson Model 61. Specifically, a Smith & Wesson Model 61-3, which means that it has an aluminum frame. Now, they only made the Model 61s for about three years, which is probably not a good sign. Smith & Wesson, when they hit a home run, typically stick with the, that design for a very long time, and these guns just don't run very well. Despite being seemingly well made, all the parts come together very well, the fit and finish is very good. I just can't get it to shoot anything. I've tried CCI and other premium brands of ammunition as well, but getting through a whole magazine uh, requires a miracle. So they operate just like any other semi-automatic pistol with a slide. Uh, you've got a heel release and all that, uh, the safety that you can actuate easily with your thumb, but to field strip it, you're going to want to press this button here, which is actually the guide rod located above the barrel, kind of like an FN Model 1900. Then you're going to pull the front sight out, at which point the recoil spring and guide rod will come out of the front of the gun. Then pull the slide back, lift up, and out. And you have fully field stripped your Smith & Wesson Model 61. Now what I would recommend doing is rigging up a complex sliding drawer mechanism, putting it on your arm, getting in front of a mirror and saying, you talking to me over and over again so you can feel like Robert De Niro from Taxi Driver. But, you know, realistically, if I saw one of these for about $100 in a pawn shop, I'd probably buy it just because they are probably worth about that much because they're still a gun that does shoot sometimes, but... I wouldn't pay what they tend to bring uh, at auction houses or on gun broker, things like that. But anyways, they do look cool. Um, I kind of regret buying this gun, but it is a nice piece of Smith & Wesson history. So big thanks to Ventura Munitions for making our videos possible. They really do help us out with the cost of ammunition. And a big thanks to you guys for watching. We hope to see you next week.